Callout views typically allow us to generate in large details of smaller sections of our building. In this case, I'm going to zoom in to the upper right-hand side of our building and take a look at the staircase. What we're going to do is we're going to create a callout view around the staircase, but when we do that, we're also going to leverage this callout view so that we can create a three-dimensional view, which I call a 3D callout view. To begin, we need to come underneath the View tab and pick on Callout. After doing that, move to the lower left-hand side of where your staircase is located at, out here in the hallway, and then click. And draw a window around where your staircase is at, and then select somewhere out in here. When you do this, you've now created a callout view of this floor plan area, and we can see it underneath floor plans, callout of 01 entry level. In fact, if we double click on that, we'll see that we now have an enlarged detail of just that portion of our building. By default, callout views only generate two dimensional views. So as a result of this, all we have now is callout of level one, which means two dimensional floor plan of level one. This can also be used to generate three-dimensional views. To do that, we first need to go to our 3D view. And we can find that underneath 3D views in the project browser and the word 3D. So double-click where it has 3D. And now we can see the full three-dimensional model of our building. What I'd like to do now is apply that call-out view to this section of our building. And to do that, we need to come over here and highlight over where the view cube is located at. When we do that, there's a button that shows up and it's very easy to miss, which is called the context menu. When you select on the context menu, you'll get this menu here. And what you wanna do is highlight over where it says orient to view. Move over to floor plans and highlight the word floor plans. Three quarters of the way down the list, it says floor plan call out of zero one entry level. That's the one that we just created and can be seen under the project browser over here on the left-hand side. If we select on that, what this will do is it will generate this 3D view so that it looks like the callout of 01 entry level view. If we zoom in by just spinning the wheel on the mouse, this still looks like that callout of 01 entry level that we were in before, but you'll notice that we now have the view cube up here that we didn't have when we were in the floor plan view. What this means is that we can now select here at the corner of the view cube and it will spin the building around. And now we can see this is where that staircase is located at. In fact, we're cutting through at this elevation and we can start to see the staircase on the inside of this box that we just drew. If we click where this box is at, we'll see these individual arrows. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. And if you click on this upper set of arrows right here and hold your mouse button down, you can pull the cube up in order to enlarge this area that has the shaft opening inside of it where our staircase is located at. In fact, we can make this as large or as short as we want to be just by clicking on the arrows, holding the mouse button down, and dragging this down or up accordingly. Something else that we can do is if we want to see through this so we can better visualize the staircase, we can select right here on the wall, we can already begin to see through it because that's one of the properties of Revit. If you select on a wall, you'll then be able to see through it. But the other thing that we can do is find these little eyeglasses here at the bottom of our view. And this is called the temporary hide isolate command. If we select there and then click on hide element, we'll then be able to hide that wall and see through so that we can now see our staircase. In order to make this permanent, once again, we can click on these little eyeglasses and then apply the hide isolate to the view. So by doing this, we've been able to create a three-dimensional callout view. So we windowed around this using our callout view tool, then move to a 3D view, highlight it over the view cube, and when you highlight over the view cube, you'll get this down arrow called the context menu. And from there, we highlighted on Orient to View, on Floor Plans, and then selected that callout view here off of the list. One other thing that you'll notice is that this doesn't just apply to floor plans. This can work with elevations, sections, and other already set up 3D views. So by using your callout tool and then selecting off of the context menu, you can create highly accurate three-dimensional views of your building model.